Hello and welcome to another 3ABN Today Live. We're so glad that you've joined us this evening. We look forward to these two hours with you each week. It's a lot of fun to spend time with our family. And uh, we just want to say again, thank you for your prayers for the ministry of 3ABN and also for your financial support. You know, you are making a difference in the world. And you may say, well, how's that? Well, the Lord hears your prayers and also the Lord blesses what you give to 3ABN, <laughs> multiplies it, and it reaches the entire world. Now tonight, Jill, is gonna be a high energy night. And also, it's going to be a very informative night as well. It, well, our topic is war on cancer, and we'll get right. into that. We have some very intellectual and esteemed and highly and energetic long-standing friends of the ministry of 3ABN. If I were to say John 10:10, 10, 10, I have come that they would have life and have it more abundantly. Who would you think of? Let's wait. I, I, yes, the clock oh, I is can ticking. hear them. Okay, Curtis and Paula Aikens. Yes, yes. I've heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to 3ABN Today Live. So glad to have you all here. And this is not the first time for you to be on 3ABN. Yeah, we've been on there just a few times before. I can't believe maybe one or two times. Yeah, okay. 100, 200, 300. I know, I know. <laughs> we, we stopped counting. We, we got just to stopped. about 300. <laughs> Why count? Um, no, it's been a while, though. This is our second home. This mm, is our second home. It is. So it I'm is. just glad that, that we're here. And I mean, I can't believe we were driving up here uh, just this weekend. I mean, 25 years. Yeah. No, that's incredible. When we came, uh, a couple here, the Denzies. Oh, know, yeah. John, mm -hmm. John and Dahlia. Yeah. Uh, their son was not even born. I know. That's right. When we came, mm -hmm. last year, he was our floor manager of our program. Isn't I mean, that amazing? That's like, mm -hmm. I know. That, that sunk in. That really mm -hmm. hit me. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you know, now he's our floor manager. He wasn't yeah. even born when we started. And then yeah. here, his older brother, Samuel, just got just married. Just got married. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that he was amazing? Like one years old when we yes. saw him. Yes. So, Jill, there's a couple of things here that are, com that are common. You don't age, and neither do they. Oh, so the, 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 the 25 years, you, you all look so it. good. Thank As you I so said much. before. Well, you're very kind, babe, but I, do, I am getting gray hair, so I mean, that's a sign of age. But you all look really good. Yeah. But very good. Grease and formula, cut your hair. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Say that one more time. What do I need to do? No, we're not advertising a product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need Recent formula, just you know. I just yeah. need to, that will help. Right, right, yeah. Okay. And yes, of course, okay. Uh, I yeah. keep my face mm -hmm. shaved. Mm -hmm. Yes, so if I, I, I did do that too. It'd be a little different, but uh, we will not go into that. When, when we started, we were just about newlyweds. We were three years married three years. when wow. we started. Wow. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so it's working out pretty good after all these years. What, what do you say, honey? It's, it's good. Okay, I just want to <laughs> make sure they heard that on camera. It's you good. want to say it again? I said it already just twice. Did the camera pick her they up on that? It up. Okay, I just okay, okay. We're so I noticed <laughs> that Paula is the Abundant Living Center president, and you, know, you are yeah. the CEO, Curtis. No, so explain how that happened. Yeah, no, that's okay. interesting. President yeah, and how that CEO. <laughs> okay, so you know when I filed the Articles of Corporation, five hundred one c three. That's right. Years back in nineteen nineties, I was the president. She's the vice president, right? Right. And so it dawned on me just uh, last year, if we have a new venture coming up, we'll talk about that as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. It's going to be focusing on cancer, the Abundant Living Center mm -hmm. focused on cancer. Mm -hmm. yes. And I said to myself, well, you know, since it happened to her personally yeah. and to a female, and that's the one topic that affected her, mm -hmm. then she really need to be president. Mm. Because oh, it's wow. more personal with yeah. her. Yeah. And that's one area of health that we know more about than any other. We know diabetes, heart disease, but, but cancer. So, so I went from downstairs, closed my laptop, went downstairs. And this is exactly what I did. I said, honey, I need you to stand up. <laughs> Stood up. And this is what I did. I went to my path, and I'm a master guy. I went into my path on the mode. Present arms. And she like, uh. You know, okay, no, like this, you know, thumb showing. Like, <laughs> okay, yeah, you know. Good job, good form. Mm -hmm. Today, you are now the president of the Abundant Living Center. Oh. Order, oh. arms, yeah. went down, and went back upstairs. And I stood there like, what the down here? What did you say? Really? What just happened? <laughs> what yeah. you just so, you know, it was official. Happened? I mean, that's actually in our minutes. It's okay. official. <laughs> so now you're, I mean, when, when we started, she was just licking stamps, so she really stepped her way up to the top. Yep. She did. And, and it worked, honey. It worked. President, I mean, the way things are going, I may be licking stamps. I mean, just in the <laughs> It wasn't that funny, honey. Was it? Oh. Okay. Sorry. No, hey. Yeah, we didn't mean okay. to be laughing. I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, <laughs> yeah, but serious, I just yeah. felt that 
<laughs> she need to be present because we're going to be focusing on cancer. Yeah, that's, that's our right. ministry. It hit us personally, but hit her because she was diagnosed and she's a survivor. So we just really need to switch the role. So yeah, yeah she's present. So. Congratulations, honey. It worked. Amen. Again, yeah. thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. You know, and both of you are such a team. And I think that's uh, from the very beginning of Abundant Living, you, you guys being on 3ABN, your relationship also is an inspiration to many. Not only the health message that you all present, which is from the Bible, but also yes. I think showing a relationship. You can have fun. You can work together. You can minister together. That's right. And uh, yeah, what a blessing. Yeah, yes. what an incredible blessing you have been to 3ABN's staff here personally, mm -hmm. but also to the entire world. And who knows? how many people you all have touched. Now we mentioned we're gonna be talking about cancer this evening and uh, you all have had a very real experience with cancer. We'll be talking about that tonight. Maybe you have experienced cancer or dealing with cancer right now, know somebody that has cancer. This is a program for you this very evening. But before we go to that, uh, we have something that uh, Jill and I want to do on behalf of 3ABN. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to, we're, the Aikens were talking about 25 years. Now this is a surprise to them. We went back into the archives <laughs> of 3ABN <laughs> and we have a really special role that we appreciate. Brad Walker, you all know Brad Walker, yes, right? Yes. Talented uh, director and Len Wenzel and some others yes. had uh, went to the archives, found some stuff, put something together. And we want to do this, not lifting up them as who they are as people, mm -hmm. but the Jesus that is in them. Mm -hmm and the ministry, the ministering that they have done to so many people, not only here, but around the world. So let's go to that special role right now. This is for you, the Aikens. Hi, I'm Paula Aikens. And today we're going to do some recipes like tofu. You know tofu, right? It's gonna be recipes that are cholesterol free, fat free, sugar free, calorie free. You don't wanna miss this one. Well, welcome back. Now we go to the best part, Curtis. The best part. It's my favorite part. Now, we don't just love to cook, but we love to cook and talk about good nutrition. So when we talk about lifestyle changes, we want people to understand that God is, is very much involved in your health and how you take care of yourself. Honey, that tells me that God is powerful. God is awesome. <laughs> he just spoke. God, a powerful, awesome God, created a beautiful creation on Are earth. you ready for that? Or a soy noodle? They're all out there. They're all out there. We're going to cook a bean tortilla bake. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a strawberry milkshake. All right. And we're going to do tofu vegetable stir fry oriental cooking. Oh, I like that. And we're going that. to end with a cheesecake with cherries on top. That okay. sounds great. Now, <laughs> which most of the crew have eaten already. <laughs> we're not mentioning any names though. Wow. Back in memory lane. Okay. We okay. love you both. Okay. okay. I think Abundant Living is probably the longest running program on 3ABN. <laughs> it is, besides the flagship programs of 3ABN. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You've given of your time. Oh, yeah. Your talents, your energy. Angela, you want to bring this out? We have a special plaque for both oh. of you. Yep. Commemorating. <sighs> I'll take it out of here. Thank you so much. This is 25 years wow. of service. Oh. I don't know if we can see this while I read it. Presented to Curtis and Paula Aikens, the thief does not come except to oh, steal and to goodness. kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, that they may have okay. it yep. more, more abundantly. abundantly. Thank you for encouraging our viewers to live the abundant life throughout the years. Mm. Presented by 3 ABN. Oh, now we're going to throw the crew for a loop. We can go to our Y shop. We're going to get up and give this to them and give them a hug. So if we can just yeah take that and I think we're we love you guys. Yep, we love you guys. Oh my this goodness. Is for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You stay seated. That's all right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you, you both. Guys. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Appreciate you. All right. Are we, well, gonna, are we gonna be able to finish the show? Okay, I need, yeah. I need to. Okay, hold up. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it's about ministry, and yes. uh, ministry, as you all know, is not always easy, right? Yes. It has yes. its uh, challenges, cancers. We're gonna be talking about this evening, as you know, hit you all as well. And uh, but again, the ministry is about souls for the kingdom of God, right? Yes. Absolutely. And why have you all stayed in ministry for so many years, right? It's because of souls. It's because of making Absolutely. a difference in somebody's life, right? Where did they get those pictures? Did I don't know. They went. Well, I mean, they had to go on Facebook. 
That's yeah. What most okay. Of them are. Yeah. Maybe that's. that's, that's yeah. So it's. it's <laughs> There are, there are lots of fun roles. When we start going back through the archives, we just put it into <laughs> about a, a oh, minute worth of time. More? Oh, that, that, I don't <laughs> That's know if we for can handle any more. The last little ahead of time. But yeah, we, <laughs> the tissue had to come out. And this, yeah. is, this is not a delayed reaction of cutting onions. So this, this <laughs> That's is, right. Yeah. So we surprised you. Yeah, 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 you did, did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But thank you to the crew that put all that together. And that shows the care that the yes. crew have for you all, too. Yes, so yes. Anyway, Mr. Danny and Dr. Yvonne send the regards to you as well, too. Yes. Because your program, of course, has made a, a major yes. impact yes. in the ministry of 3AB. Okay. Yeah. I think the main thing, and that we're just so grateful that um, God has put us in this ministry, and the thing is that we just, we just hate to see people hurting, yeah. you know? And we know that if there's anything we can do to change their lives, to make them feel better, and the main person you already know is God. That's right. If we can get God in our lives, it just makes a big difference, mm -hmm. and we're just so grateful just so grateful to be used in the ministry to be able to share and sp spread the gospel. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You okay, honey? Okay. I, okay. I, I, I think I'm. Okay, you gonna be okay? I have to kind of <laughs> because, I'm, because I'm trying to keep from doing the. You, have you ever seen an ugly cry? Okay, I'm trying to hold back because that's Aww. what I'm wanting to go, and I'm just trying to hold back. So if you will just stop tearing, okay, uh, okay. I, 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 I cannot. I'm, I'm regrouping okay. right Regroup. now. Maybe we'll go to a song while we read. Yeah, okay, now, that would be good. Maybe we come out and we'll be ready yeah. and okay. geared up to talk. That's, that's about. good. A, a good that's three minute song, and then I'll be good. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, okay. we just want you all to know we love you very much. We know you've well, sacrificed you. 25 years of travel. Oh yeah. Yes. Hours in the car, mm -hmm. hours preparation. in the kitchen, preparation. hours doing that preparation. Oh, yes. And on behalf of not just the ministry of 3BM, mm -hmm. but you at home, yeah, our right. viewers, you have been blessed and touched because of the ministry of the Akins. And we know that they at home are standing and cheering oh, yeah. and are saying we're so grateful for Amen. what you do. So thank you. So right now, we're going to a special song, Ginger Pitchers, and Tim Parton will be playing the piano. They will be ministering. His name is Wonderful. Amen. His name is wonderful, his name is wonderful, his name is wonderful, Jesus my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master.
Thank you, Ginger and Tim Parton. What a fitting song. His name is wonderful, right? It's all about Jesus, and that's what the Aikens have been all about all of the years of ministry, and uh, we again pray for many more good, healthy, happy years of ministry for both of you. But again, thank you so much for being here this evening. I know our topic is about cancer, and I want to go back actually just a little bit and saying when they came to 3ABN, uh, I don't remember, it was a couple of years into your ministry here, I was a brand new camera operator at the Uplink oh, yeah. in 1999 at the original building. <laughs> and I remember I was so excited because I had the privilege, we didn't have a jib that was getting the food shots. We had a camera on a high platform and we could yeah. shoot down on the food. And they put me on that camera and it was so fun. But there was a problem. When you're up high, all the wonderful aroma floats up. So oh. I was amongst <laughs> this cloud of all the great cooking. Uh -huh. So no exception here, right? They're ex they're, we're gonna do cooking. Yes. This second hour here as well, right? You're going to be and, cooking. You know, we, we need to have you guys come on and set, like at the tail end of the okay. cooking. Would you? Oh, let, let's invite them, honey. Yes. You know, I can, can I okay, come on? You're, you're in. And, oh, okay. and you know what, Jill? Bring your husband with you. Yeah. You want to go eat too? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Thank you for the yeah, invitation. Yeah, it's an yeah. honor. <laughs> okay. So, you're so we will come us. at the end. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's dive into the topic then tonight cancer. Yeah, where do you yeah. want to get started? Um, Why the subject it, of Yeah, cancer? it's a heavy duty. Why do you want to talk about mm -hmm. cancer tonight? Why yeah. is it important? The title, War on Cancer, let me just preface this. I want people to know, everybody to know, that God is a loving God, mm -hmm. a patient God, mm -hmm. a long-suffering God mm -hmm. who enjoys harmony, no disruption, so when something disrupts God's harmony, when something creates chaos, God gets to a point where God's hand is pushed where he has to do something about that to restore harmony. Mm. This is what happened in heaven. Mm. That's true. Lucifer uh, really disrupt the harmony in heaven to a point where God's hand was forced, where the Bible says in Revelation 12, verse 7, mm -hmm. there was war, war in heaven. In heaven. In heaven. Mm -hmm. it, it got to a point where enough is enough. Something had to be done. And one Christian author said in... Uh, uh, Story of Redemption, page oh, yeah. 17. Great book. She says that, this author says, that angels were marshaled in companies mm -hmm. and one commanding angel over each company. I mean, this is an actual physical war. The word war means mm -hmm. activity, mm -hmm. yeah. commotion. There was war. And Lucifer's angels were kicked out. Fast forward. In the late 1960s, Cancer was getting out of hand. So Richard Nixon, in 1971, just over 50 years ago, mm -hmm. particularly on lung cancer, it was increasing at an increasing rate. President Richard Nixon declared war mm. on cancer. Oh. Wow. 1971. Wow. Just over 50 years ago, primarily on lung cancer in particular, okay. because it was getting out of hand. Was that due to the smoking or other causes? Exactly, mm. because then, I mean, even on your uh, talk show, radios, uh, TV shows, movie, whatever, it was nothing for people to be smoking. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, on, on the set. You know, yeah. Johnny okay. Carson, and whatever, and mm. people, the guests mm -hmm. come on, they're smoking. Ashtrays right there, TV, you know, but now you don't really see that now. Mm -hmm. But then it was so prevalent. Mm -hmm. And so he declared war on cancer. In the last 50 plus years, some $90 billion has been spent mm -hmm. on fighting the war on cancer. Wow. He said billion. $90 billion. billion dollars spent to fight the war on cancer. So the question is, are we winning the war on cancer? Mm. Yeah. That's it, the question. To spend is. all that money, mm. yes. are we winning? Mm. I mean, just wow. last yeah. year, another $5.6 billion added to that. I mean, it just keeps rolling. I mean, really. So let's go to our first graphic. Okay. Now, let me just perfect before they put it on the screen. 
This may seem contradictory, mm -hmm. even confusing, mm -hmm. the graphic work you're about to see. So we're going to look at it. I'm going to explain it. And here we are. All right. Now, okay. here we go. The war on cancer. So the blue line, there it is, cancer death rate, as you see that blue line, yes. is going down. It is. Yes. That is the best way of determining whether or not we're winning the war on cancer. cancer. Now, this is based on death, based on a group of 100,000 people. Well, okay. Right? Yep. So it depends on which 100 group of 1,000 people you look at based mm -hmm. on the death rate. Okay, that's the death rate. So that's going down. Yes. Right? Why is the other line going yeah. up? But now, let's go to the graphic again. Let's look at the other line. Mm -hmm. The red one. The red one. That one is going up. Yeah. My, my. That's the number of people dying from cancer. Yeah, so I got to look from Jill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I preface, yes. let's take this off the screen. Let me explain that. Okay. Because how is it that the death rate of cancer is going down, down. Right. Mm -hmm. which is the way to determine mm -hmm. whether or not we win in the war on cancer, right. but, but at the same time, the number of people dying from cancer is going up. It's going up. I don't understand that. I don't either. And that's what I want to hear. Mm. We'll help you to explain that. Okay, good. All right. So, number one, like I said before, the death rate is based on 100,000 people. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many die within that 100,000 people? Mm -hmm. Well, it depends on which 100,000 people you look at. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for instance, in certain states in this nation, cancer is the number one cause of death in certain states in this nation. Mm -hmm. Wow. Kentucky, the number one, number one cause of death is not heart disease, it's cancer. Is it really? Yeah, depends on which state you look at, okay. which group of 100,000 people you look at, mm -hmm. all right? So, but, but the point of this is that the reason why that death rate is going down primarily due to lung cancer. Oh. Because more and more people are now being stopped with smoking. Right. Stop smoking clinics and, right. you know, uh, mm -hmm. up in smoke and all these clinics. I mean, American Cancer Society has a stop smoking clinic online. Mm -hmm. All right. So more and more people are not smoking as much mm -hmm. now. And now, I mean, you can't even smoke in restaurants and malls, mm -hmm. et cetera. Uh, just the other week, I saw a lady smoking cigarette in the parking lot. It seems so out of place. But not 50 years ago. So right. more and more people are not smoking. Mm -hmm. So therefore, there's less cancer, less cancer in lung cancer, less death in lung cancer. So if you take the death of lung cancer out of the out equation, of mm -hmm. there are certain cancers, yeah. death rate is increased. Mm -hmm. Which cancer? Today, prostate, wow. uterine, and wow. liver cancers those cancers are increasing. Mm -hmm. But the overall scope, because the lung cancer is decreasing because less people are smoking, mm -hmm. the overall death rate is decreasing, all right? Mm -hmm. So, but- Out of 100,000 Out of 100,000, depends on which 100,000 you so look at. So if you just at. looked at the blue line, that could be deceiving. The real number is the red line then to be looking at, right? Well, the death, the real reason why the death rate is declined because lung cancer death rate is declining. Right. Yes, so that right. has the most huge impact right. of cancer yes. overall. Mm -hmm. But now let's go to that graphic one more time. I want to make sure we look at this. Our main concern is not that the death rate is declining, the blue line, that's good. We take the uh, lung cancer out of the equation, yes. mm -hmm. that blue line yeah. would not look mm -hmm. the same. No, right. But the red line, that's increasing mm -hmm. every single day. Like, for instance, at the end of this interview, Greg and Jill, 60 people would have died of cancer. 60? Yeah. Wow. At the end of this first hour, hour wow. interview, in one hour, 60 people are going to die. Now, that's in the United States? Yes, in the United States. In the right? United yeah. States, not the world. Yeah. Wow. Within this first hour, 240 people would be diagnosed with cancer. Diagnosed. In this first hour of interview. Wow. All right. Today, at the end of the day, 1,500 
people diagnosed with cancer. So more people are dying from cancer right. every single day. And mm -hmm. so with that in mind, there need to be something where we want to put more emphasis on prevention. Mm -hmm. As the saying goes, mm -hmm. I'll say this and you probably can finish this. An ounce of <laughs> prevention. prevention is worth a pound, pound of, of cure. cure. These people are just blowing me away. I, I mean, I you, you guys are just simply amazing. Well, we've been, watching, blowing me we've away. been watching your program for 25 See? years. <laughs> <laughs> Wealth of information. That is a good response. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the three may want, may want to keep these two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, but, so the thing is that, uh, yes, the death rate is going down, mm -hmm. but the number of cancer overall wow. is increasing. Prostate, liver, uh, and uh, uterine cancer mm -hmm. is increasing mm -hmm. as far as the death rate is concerned. So we get more calls from uh, cancer than any mm -hmm. other calls mm -hmm. over the wow. years when it comes wow. to cancer. I mean, this is a typical call, most, honey. Most recently, um, we used to get calls when someone was like stage one. That's okay. the very beginning of cancer. Mm -hmm. We are now actually getting calls with people with stage four and stage four is the metastatic cancer, which means they're going to pass. And they've already had chemo and radiation. Mm -hmm. So they're actually being sent home. Now, this is the one that really gets us. They're being sent home because mm -hmm. they said there's nothing else they can do. Mm -hmm. And so the calls are coming in. The more we hear, and then we get a chance to just ask them, you know, would you consider, since you're already calling, would you consider this? And at every part that we talk to people about any disease they have, specifically cancer, we then ask the question, how do you feel about God? Mm. Where are you with God? What's the relationship? Mm. Mm. And then we have them get their Bible, and then we ask them, we have prayer, and then we ask them to read to us. I don't mm. want to read to people because when you're reading to them, they're, they're, their minds are everywhere. Right. But if they have to read, they understand. Oh, that's and good. And they need to write it down, have prayer for them. And I, I'm just here to say the blessings of what God has done. God has mm. shown himself to be worthy. Amen. Because we have people who we now can actually clarify that they've actually gone through different things and they've wow. talked to God and they've changed their lifestyles and they are still alive. They're still Amen. okay. Amen. Wow. And so we just got a phone, just got a text message before we came here of one of our friends that just yes. went to Vanderbilt and mm. Um, mm. she's going in for her last treatment and then yes. everything is okay. Praise she's the Lord. all right. So, you know, we get, mm. it's just, it's amazing. It's just amazing to watch God do his thing. Yeah. Mm. That's all. So the reason why this topic, the war on cancer, yeah, there needs to be a war, but the war needs to be also on prevention. prevention. Amen. Yes. Now, Before a person is diagnosed. Let's go right ahead, Jim. Now, when you talk about prevention, are we talking about diet? Are we talking about exercise? Are we talking Lifestyle? about God? Mm -hmm. Because you referenced God. Yeah. Or are we talking about screening for cancer? What does prevention mean? Everything. Everything mm -hmm. you have everything just you said plus everything. more. Yes. So, yeah, everything you have just said plus mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Since this is uh, about 28 minutes left, what we want to do is just kind of zero in on diet. But the screenings and all those kind of things as well. So, but uh, based on uh, one prestigious journal called the Journal of Epidemiology, uh, 2019, state that cancer has the highest clinical, social, and economic burden on all human diseases. Cancer is number wow. one. Wow. Has number the one. most burden mm. economically, wow. socially, and clinically mm -hmm. than any other mm -hmm. disease known because wow. of the impact it has on society mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the treatment and some of the side effects of treatments, that kind of thing. So it has a huge burden on society. Mm -hmm. So so what, since you mentioned, uh, Jill, that we're going to zero in on nutrition, okay. uh, let me just say this. And I think I have to put this plug in. So Huntsville, Alabama, mm -hmm. where we live, just two months ago, <laughs> so my wife already know where we're going, <laughs> is now is now the best, the best place, place to live in the country. Yes, it is. Really? It's just been done. Seriously. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Oh, we right. didn't know they that. Just, okay. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. That's great. Now, this is just not mm. our opinion. Mm. Okay. This is according to the uh, U.S. News and World Report. Oh, wow. Really? They report uh, every year the best mm -hmm. cities to live based on a set of criteria. Mm. 
I uh, thought Huntsville Thompsonville, Pitt. though, was Let's number see. one. I thought Thompsonville was, <laughs> yeah, I mean, but I guess I mean, Huntsville, I mean, Huntsville kind of <laughs> <laughs> took our spot. Okay. Uh, so they have a list of yeah, criteria okay. based on economics mm. and social and yes. all the kind of crime, all that. Wow. So yeah, great. just about two two months ago, yes. Huntsville wow. is Huntsville, Alabama is the best Boom. place to live in the. I mean, mm. it's it's not booming, it's exploding. Wow. I mean, really. So, um, but with that in mind. Dealing with diet, there is a 10-year study done in our home state, uh, the University of Alabama in Birmingham mm. School of Health, UAB, okay. mm -hmm. did a 10-year study on cancer mortality mm. and death. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, death rate mm -hmm. sure. as far as adults' cancer is concerned, mm -hmm. right? And so this is based on 22,041 people wow. for 10 years. Okay. That's pretty yeah. comprehensive. Looked at mm -hmm. several diets and their impact on cancer. Mm -hmm. 10 years, UAB, University of Alabama. Yep. And so, of all the diets out there, we're going to go mm -hmm. to our next slide and let's see what this researcher says as far as this is concerned. Okay. This is not complimentary since we live in the South. Quote, the Southern diet oh, wow. was associated with the highest cancer mortality with nearly a two-fold increased risk. This is come from the International wow. Journal of Cancer. cancer. The Southern diet. diet. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. What is the Southern diet? Can that's, <laughs> that's why I pause. I want you to ask me that question. Okay. That's why because I because I if somebody says, oh, I live in Washington State, then I'm good because I'm not in the South. I'm in the Northwest. Right, right. So that's why I kind of pause. I, yes. want, I wanted one of you to ask that question. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad yes. you kind of followed through. Okay. So what is the Southern diet? All right. So that based on this research, 10 years, 22,000 people in 41, the Southern diet, they looked at several diets. It was those uh, diets that consist of a lot of meats, Organ meats. Oh, oh, interesting. Fried food mm -hmm. that may not have to be, do with meat, but just fried foods mm -hmm. and sugary drinks. Really? Now, that's the quote mm -hmm. Southern diet. Yeah. And one person, I remember one person said uh, some time ago, we live in, uh, in Huntsville now, she said, We fry everything, yes, even the salad. <laughs> and that's what she said. I mean, really, just it's just everything is wow. fried uh, meats, right? organ meats, right. and sugary drinks. Mm -hmm. wow. That diet there impacts cancer rate, death rate, more than any other diet they looked wow. at. Wow. Period. And it doesn't really matter then, you know, once you've made a statement, what about people who live in Washington somewhere else? Mm -hmm. That means that diet, whether you are a southerner or not, mm -hmm. is still the diet that goes around the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can eat yes. that diet yes. yep. and live in California. Right. That's the southern diet. You don't have to live in the south. I mean, right. so anybody who, you know, mm -hmm. insists in that diet, then mm -hmm. it's going to increase cancer risk twofold. Yes. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Yeah, that's amazing. So then nutrition, that really is the starting point, foundational, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to the next graphic. Okay. All right. So uh, this one, now before they show this graphic, let me just preface this. First of all, certain studies are good when we look at as far as what diet had to deal with in relationship to cancer, all right? Mm -hmm. Certain studies. And you look at the results. That study adds more strength when there's several studies combined mm. and get the results. Mm -hmm. Right. So you have one study and results of that. Okay, that's something. You may have results of five studies together mm. with the results. Okay. That's even more strength than just one study by itself. Oh, that makes sense. This study is the meta-analysis, which is mm. several studies Good. combined in the results of that study those studies. This is not just five studies together. This is not just 20 studies together. This is the result of 72 Ooh. studies wow. combined in the results of 72 studies on cancer and diet relationship to death rate. Oh, wow. mm. So let's see 
based on this meta-analysis of 72 studies combined. Now let's go to the screen. Let's see what it says as far as cancer is concerned. Here it is, all right? Food chemistry, just last year. 100 grams a day of red meat and 50 grams a day of processed meat was associated with up to 51% and 72% higher wow. cancer risk, respectively. Wow. All right? Wow. So wow. let me just kind of break That's that apart serious. here. Wow. So what's 100 grams of red meat? All right? Mm. So uh, without mentioning any major food store chains, restaurants, just think of the top three restaurant food store chains, all right? Okay. Fast, okay, so fast food? That's fast food, mm -hmm. all right? So people already have that in mind. Oh, yeah. Okay. All of those restaurants, their large signature hamburger mm -hmm. is just over 100 grams. Really? Wow. All right? Wow. So you can take any of those fast food restaurants, <laughs> their signature, yep. large signature burger, mm -hmm. wherever that is, and you probably have an idea mm -hmm. what that is, that's just over 100 grams of beef. Wow. All right, without mentioning names, all right? Mm -hmm. yep. uh, some are like 110, 120, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So you have one of those burgers <laughs> plus French fries, Fried fry. food mm -hmm. and Coke. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's true. Recipe. Now for, we understand mm, why that's more and more people are dying from cancer every day and it's increasing at an increasing rate. At the end of this program, wow. there would be 60 people who have died wow. of cancer because of that. All right, because mm. of that. That's really heavy. Yes. No, it, it but is. what if someone's saying, but I like my Coke, I want my fried okra or my fried green tomatoes, I want my steak, what can I do? I mean, what can I, can I still eat something that, that is pleasing but yet won't increase my risk of cancer? And see, this is where the diet comes in, honey. You have such a great big, well, you had a great big <laughs> I'm smile. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you. So, a big so smile. our thing is this. We know what the superfoods of, everybody has superfoods they grew up with. Mm -hmm. These are things they had when they were living with their mom and daddy and when they grew up and become adults, they're gonna still eat that way. So our thing is, what is the superfood that you like? So our thing is to study the superfoods <clears throat> of different groups. Like Kurt said, the South has a different superfood group and someone in the North has a different superfood mm -hmm. group. So when we look at that, then my job is to, how can we then fix a food that looks like, acts like, smells like, economically, to what they're used to having? And this is where the gracious God comes in. Amen. I remember when we first started doing programming, before we even got on 3ABN, when I asked the father as he was changing changing my diet out. I'm from the North, so I ate all that stuff that Curtis is talking about and more. And so when he started changing my diet out and saying what I had to move out the way, I was like, how's that going to work? And honestly, he said, I'm the creator of all things. Mm. I can show you what to do. Wow. And in the kitchen was when he began developing the meat, the patties and all the, the French fries and stuff. So we learned how to do the things that people still like, mm -hmm. but in a healthier format. So we got them when it comes to stuff. Um, I just got a message from someone a few minutes ago asking me about that cornbread. I make cornbread, <laughs> but my cornbread, I try to use that healthy stuff and my cornbread breaks all apart. I said, oh, we got to talk because I know how to keep that cornbread together. <laughs> Amen. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we just say, so if I were to ask you, Jill, what is a superfood that you grew up with you still love today? Oh, cornbread's one for sure. Okay, okay. we'll see, cornbread. What about you, Greg? Mm, lasagna. Lasagna. Oh, oh yeah. We call that lasagna. You okay, call it lasagna. We, lasagna. lasagna. We, we, we changed okay. the terminology. Mm. <laughs> so, so then my thing is, when we go away on a trip to Bermuda, Bahamas, wherever we're going, my thing is to study, when they call us, what is the superfoods mm. of your group? And therefore, I'm going to take to them they're superfoods, and that's why it's so successful. Now, every now and then, someone will say, we want those American foods. I said, we're not going to bring those, but we do bring them. We do bring them. Yeah. But the bottom line is that where the main thing is, where are the people at? Yeah. 
and how can we change it? Now, some things you really cannot change, mm -hmm. okay? But you can come very close to it. Mm -hmm. And before, when we used to have to make everything from scratch, we're just so grateful because this is really a paradise for anybody who wants to go vegan, vegetarian, because we now have all these companies fighting with each other, mm -hmm. trying to be on top of it. I'm not gonna call your names out, but mm -hmm. once again, they're helping us now, because mm -hmm. we can now tell people how to go and get things, even when they're dining out. Oh, how to good. ask for stuff they're dining out. But when we, we have seen it, we've seen it, the healing done with people who have changed their lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle along with the food of, of nutrition as well. Mm -hmm. So there's always hope because there's somebody that's at home right now saying, my goodness, I have uh, had my Coke, I've had my French fries and my burger for 40 oh, years. Oh my goodness. For 40 years, my yeah. body's probably shot. There's no hope, might as well just always keep, yeah. but there's always hope, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So it can be reversed. It some can of that. Absolutely, yeah. It yeah. Can and, be. and just because you may eat a high meat diet, fried foods and Coke, et cetera, doesn't mean that you're gonna get cancer. That's right. And those who don't eat those things, won't. you won't get cancer. Mm -hmm. It's just like wearing a seatbelt. Mm -hmm. So if you're wearing a seatbelt, mm -hmm. you, you get into an automobile accident, it doesn't mean that wearing a seatbelt will guarantee that you will not get hurt. That's a good point. It is simply reduce your risk That's right. of getting hurt. That People is. have been in an accident wearing seatbelt, mm -hmm. you still get hurt. Oh, absolutely. Some of you actually yeah. die, but right. the risk is severely low mm -hmm. by wearing a seatbelt. So these kind of things, um, the diet, plant-based diet, it's like putting on a seatbelt, mm -hmm. all right? Uh, so therefore, it reduces the risk of getting hurt. Now, so, but those restaurants, that people were thinking of, yeah. that's in your mind, the type restaurants <laughs> and those burgers. Yes. yes. Those same restaurants that a lot of people are thinking of, they also have meat alternatives Absolutely. now on their menu. Yes. Mm. Without mentioning any names. Mm -hmm. So this is like now mainstream. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. same restaurants also have options, meatless, but it's on the burger, but it's yeah. meatless. Mm -hmm. Yes options as well. Yeah. So that's that's 50. So if, uh, yeah, go ahead. I think so I know that's you're 100 going with grams that. of meat. Yes, exactly. That they're eliminating from yeah. the But diet. now the other graphic, the other, on the graphic also says 50 grams a day of processed meat yeah. can be up to 72% 72. 72. risk mm -hmm. of cancer. That's right. Mm -hmm. Processed meat is even worse than red meat. Wow. Mm. Processed what? meat. Now, when we go into the kitchen, I'm going to demonstrate what 50 grams of Ooh. processed meat look like. Okay. Wow. So okay. we're talking about bologna, salami, mm -hmm. ham, Sauce. bacon, sausages, yeah. hot dog. What does 50 grams of process? Because you got the nitrates. Right. So the second hour, you're going to do, you're going to talk. I'll, about I'll this. demonstrate Ooh, that okay. when we go into the All kitchen, right. so therefore good. people can see mm -hmm. good. what that looks like. Okay. All right. Go ahead. No, so then, so then we also have some special things that we've done mm -hmm. to actually increase the information. Because our main thing with the people is, remember now, they're already going through a disease. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they're, they're yeah. looking for answers. Yes. Yeah. So our thing is, instead of demanding or commanding them, we're like, are you willing mm -hmm. to make some changes? That's good. Mm -hmm. If they're not willing, then we're not going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. But they'll say, yes, <laughs> I'm willing. Then we then go to work trying to show them how they can change things out. Like... Once again, the French fries. We have an oven-baked French mm. fry Ooh. that you can make in the oven nice. that will make you hurt yourself. And you mm -hmm. can make mm -hmm. the French fries and the chips to go along with that. Okay? <laughs> nice. wow. And then the same thing with the burger. We got the burger going on. Even when it comes to dining out, we had a program once on 3ABN called Dining Out. People say, well, what do you do when you're out on the street? Mm -hmm. How do you get, you get caught out there at lunchtime? What are you going to do? And we actually have named the restaurants and what you can get at those restaurants that are oh. plant-based. Mm -hmm. Our new word is not vegetarian mm -hmm. and it's not vegan now that's totally because out. those is. words mm -hmm. really turn people off right the new term out there now is called plant-based eating mm. plant-based all right that's right cancer fighting mm -hmm. that's good. foods mm -hmm. cancer oh, yes. fighting mm -hmm. foods yeah mm -hmm. so what about our, our thing because our time is moving yeah i see mm -hmm. that so okay. therefore now so let me just say this so um where we live in huntsville alabama mm -hmm. Let me just rub it in one more time. One of the best places to live, right? No, it's, yes. no, no, no. It okay, no, it is the, not one of. It is, it is the. the best. Okay, was it yeah. number one? <laughs> number one. Yeah, it's actually, yeah number one. Um, there we have the Clearview Cancer Institute. Mm. Oh. It is the premier cancer institute in the region. 
Wow. North yeah. Alabama, Tennessee Valley, people come all over. I mean, it's at the cutting edge. Clear view. Um, Clear yeah. view. Yeah, so okay. they're there, and we've been volunteers there for 15 years. Have you really? Oh. Yeah. Wow. yeah, volunteer people going through treatment, giving warm mm. blankets, and mm -hmm. I mean, I get to test out new jokes. I mean, it's wonderful, <laughs> you know, really. So, uh, but yeah, wow. we've been volunteering for there for 15 years. And so we talked to, had a meeting with the um, chief operating officer. Mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, last week, uh, hi Michelle, I had mm -hmm. to get that in there. <laughs> and uh, so she shared with us uh, because they're only cutting ass. And so what they do to reduce the risk of lung cancer, um, they also do what we call incidental screening, mm -hmm. where you may go in for a CAT scan for uh, gallbladder. Say, oh, there's a nodule on your lung. Mm -hmm. Let me follow that. Yeah. Okay. And so only four cancer centers in the nation does that, more wow. are doing it now. Okay. Anyway, so they gave us a call and uh, quickly shared with that uh, the call that we got from Columbia Cancer Institute as far as doing some cooking shows, honey. So we oh, had a wow. change out of the individuals who were wow. over all volunteers. Yes. And when she changed out, another woman took her place. And when she took the place, they called us in and they wanted to talk to Curtis and I. And the first thing they said was, we would like to do some cooking shows at Clearview Cancer Institute oh. on plan, oh no, c cooking shows. When That's they cool said show. that, I said, wait a minute, I'm just thinking in my head, cancer, mm, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Let me go ahead and say it now. I said, now, we only cook plant-based, right. okay? And so she said, That's no, no problem, no, no problem. problem. No, you wow. only cook plant-based? She said, whatever, mm -hmm. we're gonna do some shows, we'd like to do some shows with you guys on that. Because she says, that I've been on YouTube watching you guys cooking oh. on 3 ABN. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's great. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Wow. And so uh, we said, all right, so we got everything set up. They had a place for us to go and do the foods. They did everything we needed to do. And so we're going to show that one, are we not? Yeah, so we so, uh, mm. taped six just really brief cooking Hi. shows. It's on Clearview Cancer Institute's website. I think we have a roll of that. This oh, good. Is like an introductory, short. Uh, short. Okay. one minute and 30 seconds to roll, so they can good. do that roll at this time. Okay, yes. let's go to that. Hey, folks, welcome to Cooking for Clearview, creating meals that control cancer. That's right. My name is Curtis Akins. I'm a medical herbalist and a naturopath, former employee at the Huntsville Hospital, two years in digestion, and the last seven years as neurosurgery, that's brain and spinal cord. Honey, what about yourself? And I am Paula Akins, and we're so glad to be with you. I'm a nutritionist, also mm -hmm. a food stylist, food demonstrator. I'm also a cancer survivor. Woo, 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 woo. I think you're gonna make it, baby. I think you're gonna pull through. Yes, all right. A little bit about ourselves. Uh, we do cooking class and cooking shows throughout the nation, Canada and Caribbean for the last 29 years. We also host a program called Abundant Living. It's a lifestyle cooking show aired on Three Angels Broadcasting Network for over 24 years. But now we're cooking for Clearview, woo, woo, woo. This is a mini series on meal planning. That's right, meal planning. Honey, let's talk about that. Let's kind of tease the people just a little bit. You have got to watch the series because we're gonna start off with a breakfast menu. Mm. Then we're gonna go to a lunch menu. Have mercy, and okay. And we're going in with a knock down, drag out. Knock down, drag out. No, uh -huh. That means good. Yeah. Okay, for interpretation. You're gonna wanna get all your stuff together. So, you wanna say bye with these programs. I can't wait, baby. So when wow. they first asked Amen. the question, That's when they incredible. first asked the question, mm. they said, um, I said, well, I really don't have a kitchen for that kind of thing. And they said, oh, we'll find you a kitchen. Yes. And they said, uh, and then we want you to do four programs. And it just so happened that it was right around the time for Thanksgiving yes. and Christmas. Oh, wow. So yep. they asked you for four programs. And then we said, they said, well, what about Thanksgiving and Christmas? These are for cancer people who are going through cancer. This is on their premiere site. And so people can go and see that, see what's going on. Incredible. And then it's also on YouTube as well. And we've been getting hits. From Amen. people who are saying, oh my goodness, we can do, we can think and consider plant-based eating. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Curtis is the one that named the show. He kept saying, I got to keep those seeds going. So he said, cooking for, for clear view. view. <laughs> yeah, good. Really, really hardly wow, no other nobody. cancer institutes right. have cooking instruction in the country. I mean, almost yeah. none existed. This is an so incredible this, opportunity that God has opened right. for you all because like you said, this is one of the cutting edge institutions yes. yeah, on yeah. cancer. And on here cancer. you all are. Yeah, presenting plant-based. In the South. Amen, in the South. In the Praise heart, yes. in the heart, 
of the cancer belt. Yes, yeah. amen. I mean, it's just amazing. Wow. So anyway, so praise uh, the Lord. So we Ooh, we have uh, we want to just really help people, uh, those who have been diagnosed uh, or preventive of cancer. We have a special that we're going to uh, offer. This is a controlling cancer conference that we did there in Huntsville, Alabama, mm. at the Marriott. Mm -hmm. It's a two-hour mm -hmm. uh, professional videotape on two DVDs about cancer, the food, some of the things that we talked about, what nice. causes cancer, phytochemicals, uh, herbal medicine, etc. cetera. Uh, a pastor, he's on here as well, talking about the, the spiritual mm -hmm. impact. And so it's called Controlling Cancer Conference uh, right here. That. Now, so this is going to be a special, and we're going to have an address roll for my phone number. They go on our website, uh, we'll mention that as well, but uh, it's 4895. But for today, because it's 25 years of 3AB. <laughs> yeah. right. yes, amen. Uh, right. Let's go yeah. with top of my head, what about $25? <laughs> oh, okay. And that's it. Oh, okay. wow. All right. So they get the two DVD set. Now yes. we only have like wow. 20 left because we're going to start going to digital. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. 20 left. And then those who order that, when you call, the first 20 of the call Ooh. was also we partnership with the American Institute of Cancer Research. Yes. This wow. is one of the most uh, respected cancer institutions, not just in the United States, but in the entire mm -hmm. world when it comes to nutrition wow. and cancer. I mean, it's a whole uh, layout here as far as phytochemicals, yes. right. plant-based cancer foods, at your fingertips so, that goes with this DVD. So you've got the entire world right now with their phones in their hands getting ready for the number. <laughs> yeah. So you better provide the number that they're to call or the website to go but to because they're ready. It's going to come on the screen, okay, let's, our yep, number. Okay, yeah. yep. Let's put the number up right, yeah, right now there it is. That. Okay. Let's read All that right. for those listening as well. On radio. 256-683-5196. That number again is 256 Six eight three five one nine eight, and this is a very limited time Absolutely. offer yes, wow. for yes, those, those DVDs. And That's uh, so, thank you for that. Yes. What an incredible yes. gift! So and we just offer. want to help wow. people do that. Amen. And um, so, I think about that. I think last time we came here, we talked about the Abundant Living Center. Mm -hmm. Yes, we That's talked right. about it's a mm -hmm. facility where people come to where we are, right there in Huntsville, in Huntsville, yes. Alabama. Uh, the best place to live in the nation. <laughs> yes, I, I that's shouldn't right. say too much because people, more people are coming, so they'll let this stop that right now. That's right. Uh, too late. So but what's anyway, the update on that? Yeah, so update. So we're, we're planning on opening up our doors before this year's over. Oh, Ooh, so man. people Praise can God. come and gain cooking instruction. Just a little bit about the cooking portion when we open up our doors, honey. Well, once again, they'll be able, where I usually do classes and people sit and watch, or in the Abundant Living Center, they will actually have their stations oh. and they yes. will actually cook the food while they're with us so they can learn how not only That's to do hands on yeah. mm -hmm. and then go away. And we also will have also a part at a garden. They can go out and learn how to garden and prepare their own stuff yes. from a garden to bring inside and eat as well. So educate, educate, educate yes. is the name of our game. We can educate them. And now you do know that in the educational portion, there's a spiritual part. Oh yeah, yeah. uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So they gotta get that part too, so they will also be doing that as well. I wanna kinda just go with this scripture that's one of my favorites. Good. And um, Curse, where is that scripture found at? Isaiah 26 and verse three, the Bible says, Thou right. will keep him in, in perfect, perfect peace, peace whose, whose mind is stayed on thee because, because he trusted, he trusted in, in thee. So the bottom line is that when we are in with God, when we know that he cares for us, when we know that no matter what happens with all the chaos and everything going on around us, God said, I can give you a peace mm -hmm. though. I can give you a peace, a sustaining peace, if you will just check in with me. Mm -hmm. You know, Amen. ask me what's going on. Don't get worked up every time something happens. I don't care what it looks like. I'm still in charge of everything and I will Amen. always be in charge of everything yeah. until I come back to take you home. And he says, but I want your mind as your mind is stayed on me. Not just I'm gonna keep you in perfect peace, <laughs> but as your mind. So how do we keep the mind stayed on God? Good question. We get up in the morning and we thank him for a new day. We get up in the morning and we have that divine worship with God. We get up in the morning and as a matter of fact, in our family, if our family members, when we get up, Curse and I are praying for all the different people, mm -hmm. this is what I say to God. There's a scripture that says, if a man or woman has not committed sin unto death, you can stand in proxy for him mm -hmm. or her. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so Amen. with that in mind, I say, Father, all those that have not called on you this morning in our family or whatever, 
we're just saying good morning in their place. Amen. So in case they don't speak, they don't say anything, can we yeah. just stand in proxy for them and say thank you for this day that you've wow, given us? that's beautiful. So that perfect peace, and you go, you know, you know, 3ABN talks about this all the time. When you are in with the Lord, I don't care with my cancer, things we have been through in our lives, the dark, dark tunnels where we thought it's not gonna work. It's not possible. We have this unrealistic faith to know, I don't care what it looks like, God is still in charge. Amen. And so it, it's one of those things where he says, I stand at the intersection of your life. I'm standing there at that intersection and my hand is out. Yes. If you would just take my hand, because you don't know the way north, south, east or west, where your journey's gonna go, just take my hand. Let me take, take your hand. And he says, I'm the only one, the only one that knows the way through the wilderness. All you have to do is follow. Mm. Amen. 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 There are 7,487 mm. promises in the Word of mm -hmm. God by one estimation. Mm -hmm. That's just one. Mm -hmm. 7,486 yeah. left. So <laughs> just, really, I mean, yes. seriously. Yes. And we're going to hang this in our, in uh, our abundant living center. center. <laughs> yeah, so yes, those yes, who want to yes. contribute, uh, we do have a website. Mm. To learn more about the Abundant Living Center, Amen. I'll open up what our is doors. That website? The website is AbundantLivingCenter.net. Yes. Again, AbundantLivingCenter.net. Mm -hmm. And those who already contributed, we're yes. so grateful yes. for those who already contributed. Mm -hmm. So I just want to make sure that people be aware of this. We just want to make a difference and flatten mm -hmm. that curve of mm -hmm. cancer. Mm -hmm. All right, yes. And I want to mention this too. Thank you for bringing that up. But uh, they are faith-based ministry. Yes. And so many of you have stood with the Akins through the years. Some of you are brand new and some of you may never have, but today, tonight is the night to actually help support them. So the work that they are doing, not only here at 3ABN, but continuing even when you leave here and go back to your ministry there, mm -hmm. they're doing a marvelous work. So we stand behind, of course, the Akins right. and um, what they are doing. So if you feel impressed, whatever the Holy Spirit is impressing you to give this evening, please support them because they're doing a fantastic work. Let's put that website up. They can donate, right? On that yes. website, there's a place donate to donate right there. The You're a 501c3 tax yes. Yes. yes, absolutely. So praise the Lord for what you're doing. Amen. Yes. I'm excited because the next hour coming up oh, is yeah. all about food. <laughs> and we're going to get to taste some of that food at the yeah, very end. Thank but you for the invitation. Just want to thank you both so much. Yes. You have an incredible thank heart you. for ministry yes. and for people. I want to encourage you at home to stand in support with the Aikens That's right. financially with your prayers. And if you need that help, reach out to them. I know that they'll be glad to help you. We'll see you in just a couple moments. Well, welcome back from uh, to 3 uh, today live and a uh, good interview with Greg and Jill uh, there in uh, the dining room and a uh, lot of information there. I think some eye-opening statements and comments were made and uh, the graphics as well. So uh, we changed our clothes, the tops in a way, and so try to keep the blue. So uh, I let my wife dress first, then I dress to match your color. So we try to dress alike. Yes, we do. Yes, all right. So as we mentioned, uh, we mentioned now that as uh, far as increasing your risk of cancer, folks, we mentioned in the graphic earlier the first hour that uh, 50 uh, grams of meat, we said that that's a typical big size burger of your major food uh, store chains, restaurants, didn't mention their names, but we know who they are. That's about 100 grams or plus, all right? And then we miss my, we're going to show you a demonstration of what is 100 grams of processed meat. Hmm. All right? We have some examples of that as well. So let's go, and I think we can get a close-up of this as well. I want to go with the 100 grams first, kind of get a visual of what is 100 grams. So if you go get a zoom uh, lens on uh, this 100 grams. So here we have, folks. Let's go with this 100 grams. So th these are two patties approximately 3.5 ounces is approximately 100 grams, all right? And it can be 3.5 ounces of steak or chicken, whatever case may be. And if we mentioned before, if it's charcoal broiled or at high temperatures, it increases 
the carcinogens, the cancer-causing compound, one is known, the most popular one is heterocyclic amines, there's others out there as well, it will increase the risk of, here it is, cancer of the bladder, breast, prostate, oral cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, stomach cancers, etc., by increasing the meat into, into your body as well. So this is 100 grams of meat, all right? Mm -hmm. And so also, what about uh, chicken and fish? Mm. Well, fried chicken, mm -hmm. fried fish also increases carcinogens as well because at high temperatures, it also increases the risk of cancer as well. Wow. So people, well, wow. I just eat chicken. I, know, I, I just know. eat fish, all right? I so know. fried, all right? So now that's the 50 uh, or 100 grams of uh, red meat. Now, the main thing is this is, and this is up to 51% uh, increased risk of cancer. 50 grams of processed meat. Mm -hmm. Now, this may be an eye opener to a lot of people. So, therefore, what does that look like, all right? Depending on the uh, hot dog, one and one quarter of a hot dog, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Now, if it's a big hot dog, it can be just one, but medium hot dog, one and one quarter. I don't know how many people eat just one and one quarter hot dog. I don't dog. think so. All right, so that's just uh, right there, 50 grams. Or, now, this is not 50 grams total. This is 50 grams by itself. Right. This is 50 grams by itself. So each of these are 50 grams each or three bologna slices. Depending on how thick they are, it can be pastrami, uh, et cetera. Uh, three strips of bacon. I mean, so the point of it is, this can add up to about 72 increased risk of cancer with processed meat. Why is processed meat more dangerous, more carcinogenic than 100 grams of red meat? With processed meat, manufacturers add nitrates, mm -hmm. all right, uh, to add to the meat to give the meat, processed meat, deli meats, its color and also prolong its shelf life. That's true. Mm -hmm. So because of that, that adds more carcinogenic properties to processed meat. So folks, let me just put it this way. If you're really serious about getting cancer, or if you have cancer, if you're really serious about having your cancer to return, then I would suggest eat as much as meat, and particularly processed meat as you can possibly eat, if you really want to increase your risk of cancer, right? So, but here's the good news. The Read gospel. That. Good news. Here's the good news. I'll good probably kind of shock the people. So I got some good news. So everything you see right here, 100 grams of red meat here, or 50 grams of processed meat, um, bologna, hot dog, three strips of bacon, etc. Guess what? Everything on this table, folks, will not increase your risk of cancer. And the reason why? All of these are meat alternatives. Mm -hmm. So this is not real meat, ground beef. This is not real bologna. This is not a real hot dog. These are meat alternatives. So these foods do not increase your risk of cancer. I think that's why a lot of restaurants even have uh, meat alternatives on their menus uh, today so as well. So glad, so glad to see that, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so, and where can they buy some of these products, honey, just briefly, well, mentioning any names. Well, all these, all that you're showing us, the new alternatives are in all our major grocery supermarket right. stores. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's going to now moving into plant-based. Absolutely. Having that alternative available because a lot of people are asking for it. Yes. And so all major supermarkets, before back in the day we had to go to health food stores mm -hmm. and it was high prices. Yes. Now they're all in the supermarkets. Yes. So again, these kind of foods, the real meat, uh, increased uh, prostate, uh, breast, bladder, kidney, cancer of the stomach, non-Hoskins lymphoma, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this based on over 148 
meta-analysis studies combined just as of two years ago. So this is what we don't want. Uh, that's why we want to emphasize more instruction in plant-based cooking. And also because these foods right here are in your frozen section, that's right. then the sodium would not be as high. That's it. So, and what's the milligram amount, percentage that we're looking for, as far as the sodium's concerned, honey? The special number is 15%. Okay, and let's talk about briefly about 15%. So, why 15%? Well, first of all, the daily value is what we're looking at on yeah. the side of our packaging, and we're noticing that if you're due to 15% and lower, we also mm -hmm. talk about yeah. lower, that we see less problems with high blood pressure there you go. and things like that. So we want to get that numbers down, and a lot of the new stuff coming out, and we talked about that before on the show also, mm -hmm. there are certain foods that automatically have their natural sodium in it. We'll talk about that mm -hmm. as well. And one more thing, too, someone just brought this to my attention uh, before we made the transition. What about protein, all right? Mm. Think about protein. So this is plant-based protein, these meat alternatives right here. And because of that, it does not stress out the kidneys. But animal protein, mm -hmm. animal protein stresses out the kidneys, puts burden on the kidneys, and also tends to raise the blood pressure as well. And for every uh, 50 grams of animal protein, we lose one milligram of calcium, so it also impacts our skeletal system as well. These foods, meat alternatives, does not do that. So again, they're all available. So that's the good news. All these are available. Has a good mouthfeel, a good texture, a good taste as well. So the meat alternatives are there in the grocery stores and they're readily available. So therefore, we don't want to take nothing away from you unless we give you something in its place. And here it is as well. And that's why this program is going to be a good one also. As yes, we it is. Because we're doing plant-based cooking. Yes. Let's look at what we are going to be fixing today. today. All right, let's go with it, honey. All right, we're doing a <laughs> sausage and red bean taco bake. It's okay. And we're doing a carrot and pineapple salad. And we're going to do our no-bake vanilla cheesecake and we're going to end with that strawberry topping for that cheesecake. Yes, I said that cheesecake, believe it or not, was the cheesecake that we actually used on our very first program on 3ABN. We did a New York High Grand Cracker Crust cheesecake like the people love, and I'm a lover of the New York cheesecake, uh-huh. That's what we're gonna have at the end of our program as well. Now this is an easy one, and we try to also do recipes that people are kind of used to. So things that, that are things that you, are your, we call your superfood, we talked about that earlier, and this is one of those. We like this recipe because of the fact that it has things in it that you're used to, and so we're gonna go to the first actual ingredients for this particular recipe. It's a sausage red bean taco bake. It calls for one package of mock sausage, one cup of onions chopped, two cans of diced tomatoes, one can of red beans drained, a half a cup of water, one package of taco seasoning mix, one 10 ounce bag of taco chips, one and one half cup of soy cheddar cheese shredded, and one cup of soy sour cream. And we're not gonna do anything other than garnish it with uh, cilantro mm. leaves and we got our cooking spray with us. Okay, ooh, while we're just ooh, reading ooh, that, ooh. I got everything on the table, honey, because this is live. I we can just that. go ahead and keep it yes, rolling. Yes, you did. So you got it going on. ready to go. And All also, right? we have our cutting board, because you're going to be cutting those onions cutting up board. on me. You have one? I brought that already out. I, I'll but go ahead and get it, okay, honey? Go get the cutting All board. Right. And I won't talk about you while you're going, because normally, you know, whenever he really goes away, it gives me a chance to talk, but he's kind of quick and fast, so he's coming back. Uh, so anyway, hey, honey. Okay, what, what, what was that? I just heard the hey, honey. I, did, I, I just, I didn't say anything. Okay. So let's go ahead on and, um, okay. Okay. So okay. I have to rely on the camera crew. Okay, what did my wife just say? All right. All right. So what we're going to do is this. Let's move that over. Oh, move this right. over. And we're going to move over that also. Oh, for okay, right Okay, the now. cheese. Okay, and I got everything else here. And you're going to be getting, for me, ready, we're going to have you chop up that, those tomato, the, the onions for me, if you will do that. Okay. I believe I have my little, you can try that one. Let's try this one, my love. All right. Okay, we're going to chop up the onions, and while he's doing that, let's go ahead on and check our stove, make sure everything is working like it needs to, and it is. 
I'm gonna turn that down low. Now you notice that I said sausage. This is actually also new stuff on the market. They used to have nothing but the ground beef crumbles. Now they've come out with the sausage crumbles. And sausage, basically, the thing, the main thing with sausage is that it actually has that sage in it, all right, which makes it have that kind of a sausage kind of a flavor, and that's what's actually in there as well. We also have, I think that, okay, we also have our soy cheddar cheese, and our soy cheddar cheese, does it look like regular cheese? Yes, it does, but it is a soy base. It has no cholesterol whatsoever in it as well. What else do I have that's just new? And even my taco seasoning, mm -hmm. there's taco seasonings out now that have low sodium count in the taco seasoning. So look out there, see what's going on. A lot of people are on board trying to change things out to the Americans' eating habits. And okay, so with that in this, mind... honey? A little bit more fine or...? That's good. Okay. All right, I already put my oil in. All right. And I'm gonna go ahead on and get my, my, my pan sprayed, because in one hot second, I'm gonna have you put that, those onions in there. Okay. So we got a nine by 13 glass dish we're gonna do with this okay. one here. I'm gonna go ahead on and put my spray in now. All righty. So it's already sprayed up and ready now to so go. I see you got the mock the ground, beef. Mock ground beef. So crumbles. therefore, this is not, it's not gonna add to the cancer risk. It's not gonna add to the risk, it's not gonna add to the risk. Let's get this going now because we have a couple things we're gonna do here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the onions in. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and saute those onions and we're gonna add the ground beef to it. So Curtis, if you will go ahead on, I think it's about ready. It's ready, ready. Okay. let's go ahead and do that. Come on in. All right, and let's get that spatula going. All right, so we got the onions and we usually do those, they're translucent. Now, the one thing I like about the things that are out, the alternatives, mm. uh, the alternative meat items are already cooked. So therefore, you don't have to worry about long cooking like you would if you were doing meat. So the ground, this is the sausage crumble. And once we get this going, just a hot second, why don't we do this? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna give you this right here. Because mm -hmm. over here, I also have another pot, a saucepan. And in this saucepan, I'm gonna be adding a couple things. Number one is I'm gonna go ahead on and put in my diced tomatoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also going to put into that, if you would give me those red beans, I'm going to put the red beans in. Now these are, what, the red kidney beans? No, they're just red beans. That's oh, red beans. Red beans. Okay. The kidney beans are going to be a darker and they're longer. All right. All right, we got the red beans going in as well. And then we're going to go ahead on and put in the water. Okay, that's going to go in as well. And if you want to, sometime when you get your diced tomatoes, it has its own sauce going on and you can just say that. Instead of using regular water, you can use the, the uh, juice from your tomato, your diced tomatoes also as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me hold that. All right. We're getting this moving on here. And we're gonna go ahead on and stir in the sausage. Um, beef. Now, this is this sausage crumble. Oh, that's sausage crumble. Sausage crumble. Now, crumble. There, there's so many on the market now. I mean, there's I so many brands yes. that you have a lot to choose from, folks. Yes. And so you don't really have to rely on just one source. There's so many sausages out there on the market in your regular grocery stores in your uh, frozen section. Is that correct? In the frozen food it's section. It's already seasoned, just need to, you know, and a, a lot use of it as what, sloppy joes or meat you alternatives. You make sloppy joes out of it. You can make, you know, p patties out of it. Yes. You can make meatloaves out of That's it. That's right. We do all of that. We do all of that. And so I'm just so glad because, like I said before, when we first started on 3ABN 25 oh, yeah. years ago, everything 25, yeah. you didn't, was A done lot of these things were not, not even no, available. No, yes. no, no. And they're conscious also mm -hmm. about the fact that we want a lower sodium. You know, we don't want that, no cholesterol at all. You will yeah. see that on there. Zero. And now a lot of the packages actually have on there vegan plant-based, yes. which means no milk, no eggs, no cheese. And, and the protein, someone asked this question, the protein is comparable it, uh, to Absolutely. other meat protein. Absolutely. So you Absolutely. don't lose anything with the plant protein, which is more healthier than animal protein, all right? Does not stress out the kidneys. We'll turn that up a little bit, then we're gonna turn it down. Okay, so you know, we got our red beans and we got also the water and we also okay. have the diced uh, tomatoes in there as well. I already talked to them about the cheddar cheese. Yes, there. okay. So what we're gonna do right now, while I'm waiting for that to almost, it's almost ready, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. Okay, what are we gonna do now? You smell that smell already? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, okay. Smell of vision. Oh, yeah. Smell of vision. Camera okay. crew's having a hard time. All right, now, now we're gonna take the tortilla chips. I remember 
once again, you know, people often say, sometime when we meet people we're doing our lectures and stuff, they'll say, oh, it's easy for you and Curtis, you guys, you know, you're, you're in the church, you're in a health message, and so, you know, you probably never ate this kind of stuff. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> number well, uno is wife. that I'm from Philadelphia. I grew up, I'm one of 10 children. I am the second oldest of 10 children. And we ate everything that wasn't nailed down to the floor. If we could catch it, barbecue it, stew it, fry it, we, we ate, ate it. it. And when I became a Christian and started learning about my family and taking care of our bodies and stuff, mm -hmm. things started changing up. And so who would have ever guessed? I always say God just knew what he was doing. Because he who said. Who would have ever thunk it? Who, who would have ever thought? Who? Who? Yes. who? Uh -huh. And so with that in mind, it was just a transitioning. And when I just got finished mentioning about the taco, I mean the, the uh, tortilla chips, yeah. I remember when I used to be a serious potato chip girl. Oh yeah, regular potato chips, barbecue mm -hmm. potato chips, wrinkle mm -hmm. chips, you name it, I did it all, yeah. Mm -hmm. When I started first doing the tortilla chips mm -hmm. in the place of regular potato chips, it was not working. But guess what? After a period of time, I began to relish that. So actually, we do the tortilla yeah. chips. These tortilla mm -hmm. chips I love because what we're going to do with these, Curtis, we're actually going to take these chips and we're going to Rumble them up. Oh, They're okay. going to the bottom of okay. this year, bro. And let me say this, too, that, you know, as we're changing our diet, folks, that uh, we have about 9,000 taste buds on our tongue, 9,000. They change and regenerate about every 10 to 14 days. So in about a couple of weeks or so, we begin to relish a more wholesome diet as the taste buds begin to change. Our olfactory nerves, the sense of smell changes about every month. So now, for us, we can't even stand the taste of flesh foods and the smell of it. The smell is just nauseating to us. So that change with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can make that transition and to reduce our risk of cancer and other diseases as well. So it's just cardiovascular disease, real failure, diabetes, overweight, obesity, et cetera. So, so our taco seasoning is actually going in here with now the- that's gonna really add pizzazz to it. This is gonna add so we're going to put the taco seasoning in with the diced tomatoes and also the red beans. Mm. You, as Curtis mentioned earlier, you could use a kidney bean as well. I kind of like this particular one here. Okay. Um, you can actually do a black bean. Mm -hmm. Whatever beans we know, we know, we talk plant-based. One of the key players of plant-based is the bean kingdom. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So pull that for me, honey? Yes, honey. All right. So that's going to just cook for just a hot second because maybe the, the tomatoes is already ready. Okay, the beans have already been cooked, they're canned. And now once again, mm. rinse the salt off the okay. beans. Rinse the salt off, all right. all right? Now, I'm back to where I was. Okay, yeah, okay. tortilla yeah. chips, Still all right. tortilla chipping. And you can do, it's a, a 10 ounce bag. Okay. Okay, this is basically gonna kind of like form a crust for you, and I like that. So you're gonna put that in. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? You might wanna try a little bit, how about that? You wanna get your hands off? Okay, see, you know you're funny. Oh, see? you want me to do more okay. than just one chip? I, I don't know if I even said that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get myself all worked up. So well, it's gonna be a long ride home after this cooking class. Uh, did the camera go in on that? <laughs> Put the camera on parlor right now. <laughs> that look she just gave me. Okay, honey, it's crumbled up. Oh. Crumbled in your hands. Yes, dear. Okay, so we got that yeah, ready. Let me just do it that way. All right. Okay. So this is going to go for a few minutes, and this is kind of going to give us the, the sauce is going to cause the chips to get soggy, which is kind of forming a crust on us. Now, check this out. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to move my pan over here. Okay. So that took about just a few minutes. Just beans. a few minutes. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take now. And oh, put, now you're going to add that to uh, the bean to mixture. Beans, yes. The onions and. Yes. Uh, and folks, let, let me say this. We've done this uh, many times uh, over the years, uh, cooking shows, cooking classes, etc. And people have actually uh, sampled our food and they have realized, wait a minute. Uh, this is not meat, and we don't tell them anything. We wait till they eat the food, That's right. and then swallow the food. Then we tell them, oh, by the way, that was not real meat. Oh, I would have never guessed. So again, <laughs> don't let people know ahead of time, because if you know, let them know ahead of time, then they already have an attitude, okay, I'm not gonna like this, so don't say nothing. 
and uh, they won't the miss food, it. Fix the food. Yeah, they fix won't the miss food, it. Fix the food. Okay. Okay. So when we go uh, out, when we go out to eat at people's homes. They always say, "I want you to come to our home and and bring a and bring, bring a something. dish." And they always say, "Bring a dish." Sometimes yes. they say, "Bring more than one dish," but yes. basically, bring a dish. So I like to do the nine by thirteens. They go a long way. Mm -hmm. Feed quite a bit of people in the crowd yes. as well. Now, at this point, all we're going to do is we're going to take this mixture mm -hmm. right here, mm -hmm. and we're going to put right over top of the tortilla chips. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Mm-hmm. Okay. You smell that smell? Yes, I do. Oh, no. Yes. I think I can do it like mm -hmm. that. So in the name of the game is to actually cover. Want me to hold this? Yes, yeah, heavy. Thank you. Remember now, you Appreciate that. You, you, you married a man, huh? I, I Full got grown. You. I got you. Okay, you got me. Mm -hmm. I got you too. Okay, so we're going to go ahead on and put this on. And I know, is that pretty or what? Yes. Look at that, those colors together. So and now after you finish, you're gonna bake this in It's gonna bake the in the oven at 350 degrees, okay? And about 30 minutes, it's ready. Cause think about it, basically it's almost ready anyhow when you mm -hmm. think of this way. So you don't really have to season this, the mock beef crumbles. No more that, extra? Yeah, it's already seasoned, right. isn't it? So you right. just more or less have to heat it up and, heat it up. and then it's ready to go. And so one of the things that I do with this one here, before I'm ready to actually serve it up, you will notice that we have this cheese here, okay? Mm -hmm. I have two things of cheese here. One of them, you can do either on the bottom, right on top of your chips, okay? Okay, Or you can do that on the top portion of your chips. And we're gonna go ahead on and load it up. Okay, okay. I got that. We're gonna go ahead on and load it. Okay, thank you, honey. Put so now you have two yeah, one bowls of, them, of cheese. One of them can go on the bottom, and one can go on the top. And I want to remind them of that, okay? So should we so, have put one on the bottom? Well, we, sh we should have, but we, we oh. didn't. Oh, I, and Okay, I, so since I, Curtis I brought that on up. I should have. Okay, <laughs> let me go ahead with okay. it. So okay. one goes on the bottom, <laughs> but just don't do this, but okay, you okay, can put this the, one's going to go on top. Yes. But normally you will put one, some on the right bottom on top first, on top of the tortilla chips, and right. then the bean meat mixture, Yes. and then uh, then the cheese, another layer of cheese on top. The cheese would end okay. it up. So okay. I want to make sure you you folks got that part Okay, of it. Yeah. they got that. And we'll show you also at the end of the program how all this looks as well. Mm -hmm. But this is a real good one. You can see how it looks right there. And Curtis, you know, you don't have to put a little foil or anything on top of it. It's going to go straight into the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. So you will see this when we bring this to an end. Mm. That is our red bean taco. Okay, all Sausage right. Very good, bean. honey. All right. You want to go ahead and put that in the... Yeah, let me go ahead and put this in the oven. In the oven and for then, us. Uh, go ahead. All righty. And then we're going to do our next one. We're going to do our carrot salad. So let's look at the so ingredients for that. So if you read that, that and I'll bring the food out with the next tray, okay, Sounds honey? good. Sounds All right. good. All right. So the carrot salad. Carrot pineapple salad. Four cups of shredded carrots. One half cup of raisins. Three fourth cups of crushed pineapple. Three fourth cups of chopped pecans and three four cups of soy mayonnaise oh my goodness this is another good one another good one another good one and you know we're okay. talking all about the whole thing of plant-based and we're talking about cancer we're talking about the foods that we're actually using the tomatoes and the beans and now we got the carrots and these are all being used on the program because these are all plant-based and they're all good and delicious. That's the name of the game. That's what we like. So let's look at this one. We've already got everything done. We got our carrots already shredded. And by the way, okay, sometimes people say, I don't have time, Paula, for all that cutting up and chopping up and stuff y'all be doing. Okay, so we try to find easier ways to get things and talk to people about stuff as we're doing that, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. So there are shredded carrots already on the market. Okay, oh, okay. already shredded, you ain't gotta worry about that. Okay, so yep. with this recipe, it's real quick and easy. No Everything kind of goes in. So First, uh, we're gonna put in the pineapple. Okay. All okay. right, this now, is pineapple. Now, this is pineapple. In its with, own juice. In its own juice. That's right. All right. No Not sweet. heavy. Sorpy own juice, sugar okay. added. They but. use a pear juice or they use a pineapple oh, juice with this. Okay. So this works juice. out really well. All right. All right. Yeah. Then we're gonna put in the raisins. All right. All right, let's get those in there. Get a bigger spoon. We got the raisins also, because this one here is kind of kind of moving back and forth for me. All right. Okay, we're gonna stir it up. This adds a little pizzazz to it does. It makes uh, you know a salad other than just your regular you know, what iceberg and mm -hmm. what tomatoes and cucumbers, whatever. Now, you know, we meet people sometimes will say, well, I'm not doing a can, the canned pineapple because 
Okay, that's why I said the pineapple now comes in its own juice. Its own juice. juice, yes. So you can use that. But if you want to take a whole pineapple, cut it all down, and do your thing, mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay? All right. Yeah, just try to make it easy for you, folks. We can make, just it make it easy. make it easy for you. All right, now we're going to put the pecans okay. in. Okay. Sprinkle them in, please. All right. Yay, I love these. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to sprinkle, though. We got those in as well. Okay. And mm -hmm. once we get all this done, we usually put it in the refrigerator and let it chill for a couple hours before mm. we serve it up. I'm just thinking about, too, honey, that uh, I know when, just a side note, when you were diagnosed, uh, uh, but next month it'd be what? Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Sixteen. I, I think you're gonna make it, baby. I think you're gonna Praise pull the through. Lord. Yes, Praise the right. Lord. And one of the first thing we did uh, the day after she was diagnosed, uh, we started with the uh, the carrot juice and sure other did. things too, though. But sure yeah, did. so this is carrots. Uh, one of my favorites. Yes, vitamin A helps to boost the immune system, the neutrophils. Uh, neutrophils contain about sixty percent of white blood cells. The neutrophils. In about three months, uh, the lab work at Clearview Cancer Institute, her neutrophils, white blood cell count actually doubled in that next three month uh, cycle of uh, doing her lab. So, but uh, yeah, this is very uh, powerful, very good for that. And so now you got the- Now what? this is, you ready for this? This is nail nays done soy. Okay, mayonnaise. Ma mayo, they call it mayonnaise, believe it or not. There's a mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise. There's another one that's a mayonnaise, mayonnaise. which is actually done with grapeseed oil. Oh, and okay. This is also done with soy. So these are new, these are new in yes. America too. And you'd be surprised, some of your name brand mayonnaises and salad dressings that you're used to having, how about they've gone plant-based? Mm. All you gotta do is look on the label and you will see it will have on there that this is plant-based. Okay. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, all of it. Oh, okay. So we're going to go ahead and put that in next. There's so many things now on the market, I folks, know. that uh, there's no excuse. Because before, you know, years ago, we had to make a whole lot of things from scratch. Yes, we did. Uh, and you can, people can still do that, make your burgers from scratch, uh, from what, garbanzo beans and soybean And we have all those in our book. burgers yes, yes, and all that. Yes. Those who want to do that. But then also the modern, with the modern milli. What, what's, well, you know, the there's a lot of people use? now who want to make a change, but they said they don't have the time yeah, don't for have it. The time, so, so, yeah. We have a new group of uh, groups out there. You know, our daughter uh, has really done a lot of yes. the plant-based uh, mm -hmm. foods as well, and so the younger groups are now coming into a lot more plant-based. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So. It's so you can see. Now, let me, no, don't take that away yet, because I want to get oh, all, the all the goodies out. Oh, you want to get all the goodies? We're going to put that in here, and then you're going to stir it up a little bit so you can get this all incorporated. As you can see here, this is so pretty and it tastes so good, so good. Okay, you got some extras? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna stir it until we get it all together, seasoned, and we're gonna put that, like I said, in the refrigerator the plastic over top of it, and the mayonnaise, the, the mayonnaise, the soy, soy mayonnaise, soy grape mayonnaise. seed mayonnaise, so okay. many news on the mark, they actually will soak into the carrots itself. Mm, okay, mm. so this will sit, it can sit in the refrigerator? Couple hours. Does it? So, sit in a couple hours in the refrigerator. Just a couple hours. Yeah, because okay. also carrot salad is usually sort of cool. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's so I can tell this is gonna be a good one because you got the what the raisins, yes. you got the nuts, the and pecans, pineapple, and uh, the pineapple. Mm -hmm. It's gonna have a nice flavor to and it as well. And the pecans are in there yes. too. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. okay great, so great. theoretically, as you can see, look at that. Mm -hmm. It has a real nice look yes. to it. There it's you very go. very pretty. It has that on there. And sometimes when I'm serving this up, I will actually serve it up on a green leaf lettuce. So it oh. has that green and that orange kind of combination okay. coming together. So once again, at the end of the program, you will see the finished mm. product on that one. I, I know so, when Greg, we're gonna invite Greg and Jill to come up uh, near the end of our program and uh, to, I don't know, maybe a sample of food or, you know, well, it's, it's gonna be kind of late, you know. So, so we're going they can to probably look at it though. And they can take a plate home. Put something in a plate or just take a plate They can plate take home. a plate home of food when it's open. Oh, with food. Inside on the plate. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Let them so do that. here okay. we go. We're so, down now to. Now you read the, this one. As you read it? this, I want right. to go off and get the next uh, tray of recipes. Okay. okay honey? Do that for me. All right then. All right. So this one is a no bake, no bake vanilla cheesecake. It calls for two cups of graham cracker crumbs. It calls for one half cup of soy margarine, 
two containers of silken tofu extra firm, one tablespoon of vanilla flavoring, one tablespoon of honey, one eight ounce soy cream cheese, two packages of vanilla pudding mix. This has a, a topping to it, and we'll do the topping in a hot second. Let's go ahead on and get this part of it taken okay. care of. You do that, you I think you need that. the food process on this You're one, You're gonna right? need the food processor. Okay. And we and got some new things that we've added to, the, to this yeah, also. Yeah, some new things, okay. so. Uh, some new ones. Maybe new to a lot of people mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you, I'll get this out, and then I'll get the, what, the food processor Food processor, need? okay, and what while else you're you doing, um, the food processor is what I need for right now. Okay, okay. all right. And now I'm gonna introduce you some new stuff, because remember, we're talking plant-based, okay? So how about, I think on a couple shows before, we did the program showing you about the tofus. Remember I said, there's certain tofus that you match up with certain foods. So the silken, silken soft tofu, this is what you're actually gonna be seeing. The silken soft, just go that to here and you can see that. It's got that sheen to it, look at that. Look at that. It's got a silky, soft, satin texture, all right? That's what we're gonna do when we do this, this cheesecake. And guess what? We are now introducing also, how about a soy cream cheese? Oh my goodness. Cream right. cheese, right. cream cheese. A a everything is, you Can know, you it? Can you there it? is no you excuse, no excuse no ex at all. I know. It's so out there. This is the cream cheese and it's soy based and it's now on the market as well. And it's a lot of other companies that are actually going doing mm. this as well, mm -hmm. okay? So we're adding that new. And then I also have a thing about pudding mixes. I, I get a lot of phone yeah. calls. Okay. It's our very first time we did our, our cheesecake we had uh, a company that was actually making the pudding yeah, mixes. Yeah, we did. Okay? No longer. And they changed that. Yeah, they, they changed, changed it out. out. And so people call me a lot on that as well. What I tell them to do, if you have a health food store or even in some of your supermarkets, they have a section called plant-based foods. Mm. They now have come out with certain kinds of pudding mixes mm. that you can use. It doesn't have all that sugar in it. And one of the other things, too, is how about some of your regular uh, pudding mixes now have on the side of their package no high fructose corn syrup mm -hmm. used in this packaging. So we've come a long ways. Mm -hmm. We've come a long ways. All right. So with this one, in, in, we're going and, to and do let me say this: in grocery stores, uh, plant-based sometimes it's a label health foods. Health just food. depends on the different different uh, grocery store. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to take this. This is uh, two of the the. Um, Extra firm. Now this is the silken. Yes, it comes silken. in a box. Yes, it comes in a box. Not the one that comes in water. It comes That's in a box. Right. Now, if you can evenly distribute that all around in there, I appreciate that. Okay. All right. And once again, just pay attention to your um, your pudding mixes. They're out there on the market as well. Uh, people are kind of surprised when I tell them what, what you might want to look at, look for. Take it down a little bit lower, honey, because it's popping. Yeah. Should I give you a spoon? No. Let me just. There you go. Just evenly make sure yeah, it's well, even. Everything in there. And even One does it even, it actually just kind of um, makes it smoother as it's going around. Um, one of the things that I get phone calls about is people ask me if they're making any kind of dessert, can they use their blender instead of the food processor? And I say no because we need to have that space, that circumference, that, so when that blade goes around, it breaks it down and makes it smooth, okay? You can't get that when you're actually trying to do it with a blender because you need that consistency in that sp the air space. So Curse is going to go ahead and do that. One minute, honey, hold up, hold up, oh. hold up, hold up. All right, so he's going to spin that around, and if he spins it around, you're going to spin it. No, that one. Okay, it's still going around. Okay. All right, and then periodically you want to go in, okay. and you want to go ahead on and make sure you move all this down and around. This time we're going to use the on button. Okay. And spin it around. Okay. I want to make a pretty. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, stop it. Now, in order for this to be a cheesecake that's going to have that same mm -hmm. kind of texture, we're now at this point going to go ahead on and add in the cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. And kind of move that around, even that around as well. Let's see here. It's kind of it's, it's hard because it's yeah. a cream cheese. Yes, it and is. And then I can spread them around yeah. once it gets yeah. in there. So cream cheese, that's the name of the game. All right. And you're gonna notice the texture of this is changing already because of that. Okay. Did you get all the goodies? This all right. is the recipe we did 25 years ago. This cheesecake. That's it. It's but. About the same, isn't it? A little different? It's the same. Mm. Okay. 
Now, what's happening is it's being incorporated. You can see there's a texture change mm, that's going it's on in here. Now. You can it's see going that. on. Yes. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add in, as he spins it this next time, we're going to add in the vanilla, and we're also going to add in the honey. All right? Okay. So go ahead and let it spin. And keep it spinning? Yes. Okay. Okay, look at this. Just look at this texture. Okay, now they can oh, see okay, how got... creamy that is. All right, you can see it's actually getting, yes. see that texture there? Mm -hmm. Texture? Yes. Okay, now, it's still too soft, though, to be a cheesecake because it's more like a pudding. Right. This is where the pudding mixes come in. Oh. So what's going to happen, you're going to put that top back on. Okay. We're adding two packages. Now, you know, we talked about this before, and I'll bring this up again. Whenever you're doing your pudding mixes, depending on where you're getting them from and how you're using them or whatever, we always say you want to have a little bit of soy milk or almond milk or rice milk on the side, just in case your pudding mixes get too thick, all right? So we're going to go ahead and use this one, and we're going to see how we go. All right, turn it on. All right. All right. Now, the pudding mixes, of course, these are instant pudding mixes. And so with that in mind, you're going to see now, it starting to change up. Is that vanilla flavor? This is vanilla flavor. This is okay. a vanilla, no bake, no bake. No, so we're not putting this in the oven, folks. Nope. No bake. All right. Now, let's go ahead and spin it again. Okay. And I will decide whether I want to add that other, other pudding mix to that. Okay. You're gonna now, add the other no, one? No, no. Oh, okay. okay. Two things. Number okay. one is the box that I brought of my vanilla pudding mix is for six serving of the pudding mix. Mm -hmm. Where when you buy it at the store, you're gonna buy the one that only has four. So that's a double mm -hmm. that I have here. And since I see I like the texture of how it's looking, we're just gonna go with that one. Oh, okay. Because okay. it's like a double, two right. together. Uh -huh. All right. Now, where is, let's get that, um, our pan out, because I wanna talk to them about the pan. Uh, that we have. Is it off set, off on the, uh, Table over there? It might be. Okay, let me get this. Now, we're going to keep this here keep and right we're going to pour this into the yep. grand cracker crust. Yep. Okay, let me go ahead and get off uh, set and get that and bring it back to you, okay? All right. All right. So, remember now about your pudding mixes. Now, guess what? The first time we were on the show, we actually did a lemon chilled cheesecake. And this one is um, now a vanilla one because we got a special kind of topping that's going to go on top of that. And so, where is that pan? Oh, 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 okay. there you go. Here we go, there, baby. Okay, okay. Okay, grand okay. cracker crust. Uh-huh, we've already done the grand right. cracker crust, and that's, okay, for time's sake, and it is a spring form pan. Look at that, look Oh, at that. okay, all okay. right. Curse, why don't you do, spin me one more time. Oh, one more time. And we're gonna go ahead on and put it in there. Well, it's nice and thick now. So it's that was just thick. one pudding mix packet. Now, this is a double, oh. so we're gonna get a single. Oh, okay, two single. single. Or okay. just one double. Okay. 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 All right. All right. So, with this in mind. All right. Look at that. Look at mm. that. Look at that. So now, we're just going to go ahead and put it into the pan. Look at how that's coming down here. Is that neat or what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Remember, we've already done that crust. You can do the crust ahead of time. And the reason for that, too, is because you want to make sure that the crust is cool when you put the creamy... Total. So now this is not going into the oven. We're no. not turning on our oven. Not turning on. Save on the utility bill. <laughs> so this is chill. What uh, three? This, at least no, four. No, this chills overnight. Oh, overnight. Yeah. Okay. Because that this got it, it between mm. the cream cheese and mm. also the pudding mix. 
Okay. It's going to make it thicker. Yes. All right. Yes. The vanilla one is not always as thick as the one with lemon because lemon actually helps things to coagulate and get thick. Okay. All right. Mm. But but it's still going to be good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Now, get hon, don't get all the goods because uh, you know I'll be looking at both. So just leave something for my fingers. Oh. Just just. Let's leave something to think about now. There you go. Mm-hmm. Next finger? No, that's enough. Oh, that's enough? No, okay. that's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. No See? need to go and crack a on that one. <laughs> yeah, so uh, now when we did this 25 years ago, was that, was that one a, a no-bake? That was a no-bake. It was oh, a no-bake lemon. At the time, right? yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And so now all we're going to do is we're going to just move it around in the pan itself. Mm-hmm. Now the spring Even. form uh, pan, that can be Purchase any? Oh, yeah, any, that, that's where you have your pants. It's easily pants. purchased oh, anywhere, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Okay. You mm. want to evenly just make sure you distribute it evenly in there. Oh, okay. In your pan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do that. All right. This away. And let's just take our spoon and get all the goodies into this. Okay. Now, are we gonna put something on top got of this? Something to go on top of it. Yes. Okay, topping. Okay. Let me get that. Now, and sometimes I just do like that, evenly distribute it, and then guess what? This then is ready to go in the refrigerator. But let's say you say, wait a minute, I did this thing earlier today, and I got company coming in tonight, mm-hmm. and she said four plus hours she has mm-hmm. to have in order for this to work out. Mm-hmm. Guess what? You can take this, put plastic over top of it, a little bit of foil over it, put it in a freezer. Put it in the freezer and it will then solidify and get oh. nice and hard so that it's ready when you're ready to serve it, it's ready to go. So you don't have to do an overnight thing. So a freezer, maybe just what? You can freeze three, it. A few hours yes, in the freezer. In the freezer and it'll get hard. Oh, okay. okay. As All well. Right. So we're going to take that away and okay. we're going to go ahead and put that up because we're going to move into the last part, which is the topping that goes over top oh. of this cheesecake. So when you read that, let me get the next ingredients right. while you read that. All okay, right. honey? All, All right. right. All right, so we, this one's a very simple one. It's a strawberry topping. It calls for one cup of orange juice, one 16 ounce pint of strawberries washed, sliced in half, and three, three tablespoons of corn starch, all right? Now, this is the one we did when we had our first show. So of course, with that in mind, uh, we're gonna be using of course, a strawberry topping, but you can make all kinds of toppings. You can do a blueberry topping. As a matter of fact, on one of our shows, you ready for this? We actually did a banana pudding with the bananas, the vanilla cheesecake. We had the bananas. We had the, all the stuff that you would put in a regular banana pudding or banana ice cream. Just be real creative. There's so much stuff you can do. You do a chocolate sauce on top of it. Oof. It just goes on and on and on. On and on and on. Okay, so now right. we got the... The got topping the on the cheesecake. Yes, and we also have a pot that we're going to actually cook this in as well. Uh, what you want a... A pot for me to cook in this right okay. over Anything here as Anything well. else, honey? Nope, I think I'm good. I love sending him away to get stuff in. And he's very good at that. Yes, he is. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. All righty. So we're going to put that on the stove. And we got fresh strawberries we're going to be using. Fresh strawberries. When we first got started on that, I'm going to do this for you. I'm okay. going to have you stand, do that. Okay. I've got a fork for you, and I'm going to put the, in the cornstarch. This is three tablespoons of cornstarch. Now, this is what, for the thickening? It's the thickening. Yes, okay. okay. Let me hold this, because I need to go ahead on and give you a spatula. And you're going to go ahead and put that in there. Mm-hmm. What I want to do is, remember I called for one cup of orange juice? The reason for that is that we're going to use half of the orange juice in this recipe to stir it coal into the cornstarch so we can get the thickening that we need. The other half of it is actually going to go into our skillet, our saucepan. All right. Okay. And Curtis is going to use that. I'm going to turn this on because, do you see these fresh strawberries? Oh. This is a very good season at this particular time. Strawberries are okay. not, oh, this is so good. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna add this to your cornstarch. All right. And then you're gonna just, and you're gonna use a fork. You're gonna stir oh, it up for me. All right. All right, stir it up. Okay, and then what I usually do. All of do, it, honey? Yeah, Okay. stir it up. So what you, yeah, I usually do is just take my strawberries like this, and I go ahead on and put them into the saucepan. Look at how pretty they are. Are they gorgeous or what? Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. 
and there's a couple things, a couple things, okay, there's a couple things that you can do. You can either do the strawberries, you can do blueberries, you can do strawberry, blueberry combination, peaches, you name it, whatever your favorite is, you can actually use with the orange juice because we're going to use the cornstarch and orange juice to thicken up this right, right here, okay? So we're bringing this to a boil All right. once again. We're stirring it up. I started to give you a strawberry, but I said, if I start you on the strawberries, you're going to be asking for some more. So I figured that maybe I should put all the strawberries into the actual. So when you feed me one of those strawberries, it would be a hot strawberry. Well, I was going to give you the strawberry while it was already cold before I started cooking Well, you can take them. one out now and give well, it to me before it gets Well, they're already in there, and hot. it's already doing its thing. See that? It's moving along right now. So, so what are you trying to say? I'm uh, We're not be getting a strawberry at not, this time. That's true. While we're getting the cheesecake once it's finished. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, you know what you're trying to say? That's what I'm trying okay. to say. Okay, I got you, my dear. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're stirring this around <laughs> until we actually get it to come to a boil. All right. And remember, I love this. Now, by the way, you can also mm -hmm. use Pineapple juice. How about oh, that? Oh, okay. You can do pineapple juice as well because pineapple juice, orange juice, they go very well with your cornstarches. Mm. If you use other things, then it's going to cause some issues. So I just say use the cornstarch okay. um, to help that out. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. So now what's happening is it's making that boiling sound. And when you're getting ready, you can see it starting So up. when do you know it's time to add the orange juice? Uh, Usually I stir this around a little bit, and you can kind of tell by looking at it. And that's in my instruction and stuff on that. Right. The bottom line is you want to get the strawberries hot. You oh, want to okay. make sure that this is actually in a boil situation. Oh, you see it boiling? See, okay. it's boiling yeah, now. it's boiling. All right. All right. Okay. So while it's boiling now, you want to stir it, mm -hmm. stir it up. And now we're going to slowly, slowly add in the cornstarch and orange juice, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is gonna make it coagulate, all right? And get a thickening to it that we need to have. All right, I'm just turning around a little bit because some of that cornstarch got stuck. Yeah. All right. Down low. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Here we go. Thank you. All right, you see what's going on now? It's gonna thicken up. And at the end, we're going to be putting this on top of our cheesecake, okay? Sometimes I'll make enough sauce so that when I'm really ready to serve the cheesecake up, I will cut the cheesecake in a slice, mm -hmm. put it on a beautiful uh, dessert dish, mm -hmm. and then I will pour the strawberry sauce oh, over top of it, okay? Okay, okay. That's what yeah. you're do. Look at that. See, it's thickening up now? Yeah. So just for, what, a few minutes of that? Just for a few minutes, and you want to make sure you keep this low because mm -hmm. you do not want it to burn and it's actually making its own sauce. Look at that. So now after this is done, then we'll, this we will be the cool. topping. Yeah, this has to cool cool down cool before first. we put it on in cheesecake. Okay. Okay. All right. Does that look good or what? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that continues on. The strawberries, because they have that water in them already, mm -hmm. naturally, they're going to start getting, see, the th they're thickening up and yes, they're also changing. See. Yeah. Okay. They're changing. Okay. All right. So basically, we've finished up what we're going to be doing on the food. Oh, part. okay, yeah. So let's talk about again uh, the the war on cancer, folks. So we talked about uh, in the first uh, program, the interview about the foods uh, that can increase your risk. So we want to do away with those foods, or at least limit our consumption of those foods. All right, the red meats, even the white meats, deep fried foods. Uh, particularly the luncheon, the deli meats, folks, these are the things that will increase our risk of cancer. I mean, folks, the jury is out, the jury is in, the verdict has been read, the judge has taken off his robe, and the janitor has turned out the lights. In the discussion, flesh foods increase our risk of cancer, among other things as well, all right? So we want to move more to a plant-based diet. And uh, that uh, study I mentioned, University of Alabama in Birmingham School of Public Health, UAB, there they mentioned about, of course, the Southern diet was the worst diet as far as cancer risk. The best diet, of all the diets mentioned, the best diet was the plant-based diet has a 23% lower risk of cancer. And this is what we're doing here. And all the other, not just our program, but other cooking programs on Three Angels Broadcasting Network as well. So that's why we emphasize a plant-based diet to reduce that risk of cancer, to flatten the curve 
all right? So at the end of this hour, 120 people have died of cancer. Over 500 people have been diagnosed at the end of this second hour. This is what we, what, what we don't want. So that's why these programs are very uh, popular for that as far as try to reduce that risk. So anyway, I think, honey, um, we're going to go to our address roll and then we uh, put all the food on the table, spread it out, and then we invite Greg and Jill to come yeah. to close out the program with us, all right? Absolutely, absolutely. Because this time, let's go to our address roll at this time and then uh, we can go ahead and put the food on the table. So again, the Abundant Living Center, all right? P.O. Box 2873. Huntsville, Alabama, 35804. Again, go to that uh, DVD, $25 special offer with the uh, brochure, American Institute of Cancer Research. Just call this number, 256-683-5198. Again, 256-683-5198. Our website, Learn more about the Abundant Living Center. Hope it'll be opening up soon uh, this year. AbundantLivingCenter.net. AbundantLivingCenter.net. Log on there. More about uh, the center coming up and how you can be a partner with us on that. And our email address is educate at AbundantLivingCenter.net. Educate at AbundantLivingCenter.net. All right? Well. Okay. Team Akins. Team Akins. We, we did it, baby. We did it. We did yes. it. We did it. We did it. And so what War do we do? Cancer Fighting Foods right here. So we did a sausage red bean taco bake. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And along with that, we also have yes, go right the here, chips baby. and the salsa and sour cream. And we also have the cilantro. Mmm. And then we did the carrot salad. Oh my goodness. Pineapple. Baby festive. Raisins, pecans, and a soy mayo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then. The grand finale. The grand finale. Which is. is the vanilla New York cheesecake. No on, bake. On, on plant. No bake, no bake, no bake. Just put it in the refrigerator. With the strawberry sauce over top of it. This should be oozing down the sides. Well, I didn't want to go down the sides just then because they're going to. Not too much. Not too much. Not All right. Much. Yes. Wait. All right. Well, it's a good program, honey. And I uh, had a good interview with uh, Greg and Jill. You know, yes. they're probably standing by. Yes. And so what, what we want to do, folks, we want to just bring them on uh -huh. the last part of this uh -huh. presentation. Uh -huh. Maybe if they act right, like, maybe even feed them. Oh, yeah. do we get to eat? <laughs> maybe even feed us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if they act right. You know, so this has been like the longest second hour. We've been just like <laughs> smelling this food, watching this food being prepared. This is fantastic. Yes. Cancer fighting food. There you Praise go. We want to yeah. flatten the curve, mm. flatten yes. the curve. Yes. So uh, I don't know, maybe the cheesecake. What, what what can we put in their mouth? Honey, you have any idea? What, what would no, you I, like? I can see. I can see. Uh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I see it in her eyes. Jill, Jill, what are you thinking about? Right now I'm thinking about the carrot salad. Ooh. Oh, okay. Good choice. Good yes. choice. We have something. Uh, we have some uh, we know, yeah, we got some carrots. Do you have some? We can try some. Oh, yeah, we do. Yes, yes. Hey, wow, we this do. is pretty special. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. This is our Thank very you. own. You wow. all want to eat? No, oh, no, 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 that's, that's fine. No, 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 you're, you're first. Okay. Okay. Even though Adam was before Eve, okay, so I'll let say, you eat first. Father, thank you for this food. Amen. Amen. We need a fast prayer. We did a prayer. That was the shortest blessing I've ever heard in the history of mankind. I'm in a hurry. Yes, yes. It See, it's more up. than just mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. iceberg lettuce and cucumbers. That's excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nice wow. crunchy. You got the That's good. raisins. Pineapple. And, pineapple. Yeah, there you go. I love raisins. Right. Mm -hmm. Pecans. Nice flavor as well. Yeah. yeah. Answer, fighting That's food. fabulous. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I tell you what, dude, if you we want to invite you to our Abundant Living Center when we open up. Yeah, amen. And, we'll uh, be there. At least, at least Minimum of two nights. Okay. Minimum. At least two. Right. So maybe right. we could do three. Yeah. You can. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's yeah. You know what? We can get in the kitchen and you let us cook. Oh. Well, we will see about or that. Maybe. Because when you come to our home, it's all about you guys. We want to dine you guys. You don't oh. want me to cook, so I'll be, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, you know, one of the things I was impressed with is that these recipes are not that hard. You know, no. sometimes yes. people say no. plant-based food can be very complicated to prepare. Mm -hmm. This is not. It's not it's amazing. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And the healthier we eat, the lower the grocery expense. Absolutely. Oh, good point. See, a lot yes. of people think 
you eat healthier, right. the growth is yeah. higher. No, right. it's actually lower. And the hospital yeah. bills may come down too a little bit too. See, oh, see and that's the total absolutely. cost of food. That's, that's a good point. See, that's that's see, that's the total <laughs> cost of food. It doesn't stop mm. at the cash register. Yeah, that's true. I, I, think they could, I think they could do their own health program, baby. I see. think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right now I'm looking at the cheesecake. Oh, oh my. Girl, something. Okay. So maybe <laughs> after we go off the air, we might be off air. We'll let them take some home since this is you know, around 10 o'clock yeah, Central, kind of getting late. Central, Central time. Yeah. So we'll, we'll let you maybe a slice, each of you take some home with you. How about that? Each yes, absolutely. Oh, thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we love you close, both. Honey. Get a we good program. So as always, John 10, 10, Jesus said I come, that they might have life and everybody have, have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. we see you next time.